What's going on, my friends? DJ Low Stacks here. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, please consider subscribing. Click that like button, all that good stuff. Uh, I'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers this year if I can. I know it's been a little while. It's been over a month, actually, since I posted a video. Um, kind of just had a little burnout going on. Needed a break, long wedding season. I got married last year. Um, and I actually have a big project I've been working on. Basically, the whole month of uh, January and February. I'm working on finishing my basement and getting an office built down there so that I have a permanent YouTube area so I don't have to set up a camera every time and that type of stuff. And I think it'll just be a lot uh, a lot better and a lot easier for me to create content for all of you. So um, please be patient. That will be done very soon. And we'll definitely be doing an office tour. So I might throw a clip in here of, of the progress so far or something, but not sure on that. But let me flip the camera around and show you what we're working with today. All right, so we're all loaded up. Got the video booth, the RCF Evox 12s. I've been trying to find a flight case for these and no one seems to have one. So if you've got a plug in a flight case, let me know. We got some of the fake labs back there, Astera tubes. And then the salsa booth is inside charging because it's too cold out here, but I'm gonna be running a salsa today as well. Today's venue is actually pretty awesome. I've never been here before. It's in West Bloomfield, Michigan, about two and a half hours from me. So we're leaving here shortly to head that direction, but it's actually a giant greenhouse. It's called the, uh, I'm gonna butcher this name, but it's called the Plantera, Plantera something. I don't know. <laughs> it's Plant Plantera. It's like a big, big uh, greenhouse type spot. I guess the place was built in Switzerland and then they, deconstructed it and moved it back over here. It's just south of Detroit, but uh, pretty cool story. Uh, decibel levels tonight. I got to maintain 80 decibels or less, which is going to be a little uh, little challenging, but you know, I have, I have a feeling I remember a lot of people saying, turn it up, turn it up. Uh, but I guess for the sake of the building and the glass and all that stuff, they want to keep it kind of calm. So uh, we're going to get finished loading up here, grab some lunch really quick and hit the road. I'll uh, give you guys some updates along the way and we'll see you in a couple hours. All right, sorry for teasing you. I'll show you guys the office. Let me flip the camera around and show you what we got here. So this is the basement. This is gonna be a bar area. This is gonna be an entertainment area. We got the gym back there full of crap. But then back in here is gonna be my office. Yes, I did all the drywall. You're probably wondering why I ran my seams vertically because I hate butt joints like that. But we did do a couple sheets sideways to get it on the HVAC and all that. But this is gonna be the space. Had to put in new windows, so I wanted it to be a bedroom. So that's an egress window, I had to put that in. And I had this giant closet. This closet's huge, it's four by 14. So I'm gonna have like a server rack over here. I hardwired ethernet over where my desk is gonna be. So we'll be able to upload video super quick. And then over this way, this whole area here is going to be my YouTube space. So I'm gonna do some sort of a wall, one of these two, or they actually might be two different walls. Maybe I'll do a hedge wall over here and something else over there. I don't know yet. But I got a bunch of those hedge wall panels left over from a photo booth backdrop I built. So I might use those, haven't decided yet. But I definitely want to use the natural light coming in. Um, I'm gonna do some lights in the ceiling, that type of stuff. But we're just gonna spray the floor joists as black and then I'm not sure what we're gonna do with the walls in here, but this will be able to double as a bedroom if I ever move out. Yeah, guys, that's what I've been doing the last two months. So uh, work, I work during the day and then come home and work on this at night. So I haven't had a whole lot of time to make videos, but for good reason, because I'm trying to put together a super cool studio space to be able to pump out lots of great content. But all right, we're gonna get on the road. Let's go. All right, guys, we made it. We are in West Bloomfield, Michigan. Roads were fine, even after uh, nine inches of snow last night. So it wasn't too bad getting here. But here's the venue back behind us here. It's a big old greenhouse looking thing. We are at the... Plantera Conservatory. That's what it's called. I'm gonna butcher this name all night. Jeez, I'll peep. I even wrote it down. But we just got unloading in. I'm gonna get set up. I gotta go find a place to park because there's no double parking, which I feel like I run into all the time. I want a van bad. So anyway, I'm um, gonna get parked and then I'll go in and show you guys the setup. I did already set up the booth because I brought the bags back out to the trailer and stuff. So booth is already set up, but um, I can show you guys the venue. Pretty dope spot. All right, guys, so we are all set up, ready to go. Photo booths ready to rock. DJ booth set up. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of hot in here. Uh, it's reminded me of the hot barn weddings, but I'm gonna flip the camera around real quick. I'll show you guys the setup and uh, photo booth and all that good stuff. It's bright, see that? 
All right, so we're rocking Evox 12s. We got six Asteras. We got one there, one there, one on the pole here. Uh, as you can see, I kind of forgot my trim piece to the booth, so uh, the lovely venue manager <laughs> brought me these lanterns to kind of cover my casters. Doesn't look bad. But we got the photo booth props, I gotta run over there still. Back here though, um, something looks a little different. My setup kind of looks like an Oreo cookie. Well, I swapped out the Mark 1 Rain 12s for the Mark 2s, and my skins haven't arrived yet because I forgot to order them. But uh, so we're looking like an Oreo tonight. We should be should have the skins by next wedding though. No big deal. Um, control one, but we're not using that. Nothing new down here. We are using the IEM today. I'll show you that today. We got some snacks and some drinks and all that good stuff. But here's the dance floor right out in front of us. Let me take you over and I'll show you where photo booth's gonna be. It's a pretty cool spot. So bar's over here, right next to me. You know how much we love being by the bar. Here's some koi fish. This here is where guests are gonna enter. So they'll enter through here. So they'll come in through these doors right here. And that's the sign, Sabrina and Brian. And then over here, we're running, we got the IEM running over here to the JBL Eon 1 Mark II for some side slash backfill. And we got the salsa booth running here. Got some extra lights for later when it gets dark. So we're using this arbor area that's normally for ceremony. We're using that as a backdrop today. And then this is gonna be the cocktail area. So a cocktail will be over here. Got our seating chart. All that good stuff. Yeah, guys, pretty excited. First wedding of the season. I'm um, ready to kick things off, man. We've got quite a few less than I did last year, but that's for good reason, because I kind of suffered for some pretty bad burnout last wedding season. So we're doing a, a few less this year. Uh, all right, guys, well, I will, uh, I'm gonna shoot some B-roll, and then I will come back and uh, catch up with you guys once guests start arriving. Cool. So it's bridesmaids, oh, okay. great, great, great. and then groomsmen. Oh. I, am, I am gonna say your guys' names, but you can come out. All together. Yeah, yeah. all together. She's gonna go move a couple tables, and I think we're just waiting on Sabrina and Brian. I think they're cutting the cake, pretty sure. I'd like everyone to please begin finding their seats. We're gonna get started introducing our wedding party. Wait. Are you guys rehearsing your first dance right now? No, I don't We, we did it a while ago. <laughs> Figure it out. It'll look, oh good. It'll, look, it'll look good no matter what, I promise you. Kevin, Sam, Cole, Chris, Ronald, Matt, and Matt. Matt and Matt, you better be in the right order, okay? Real quick though, I need you guys to have tons of energy, right? So you guys, you guys are the you're the you're the beginning of the party, okay? So as much energy as possible. You guys are gonna set the tone. You're setting the tone. Don't knock over any candles. We don't want to burn the place down. But come in, lots of energy. You're gonna go straight to your seats. So the head table is just over here. It's my honor to give you the brand new. Sabrina and Brian
safe to say we ended this on a high note, right? One more time, if you love Sabrina and you love Brian, make some noise! Thank you all for having me. It was an honor.